In this video, we're going to look at simplifying the expression 25x to the 1 3rd, y to the 2 fifths, all over 9x to the 2 fifteenths, y to the negative 3 halves, all raised to the negative 1 half power. As we do this, we're going to use several exponent properties, and so it's going to be important that we keep ourselves organized by following an order of operations as a guide. Order of operations is going to tell us to simplify everything inside the parentheses first, before I worry about anything that might be outside of the parentheses. So first, inside the parentheses, and then we'll save kind of the left side here for some chicken scratch. Inside the parentheses, we've got a 25 over 9. That can't reduce at all, 25 over 9. And then we've got a couple x's. The x's are divided, and we know that with division, we need to subtract the exponents to find the new exponent on x. When we take 1 3rd and subtract 12 fifteenths, we see we're going to need a common denominator. Multiplying the first fraction by 5 gives us 5 fifteenths minus 12 fifteenths, which is negative 7 fifteenths. We now have x to the negative 7 fifteenths. However, that negative exponent is going to move that x down to the denominator. So let's move that x down, making it a positive 7 fifteenths. Now with the y's. Same idea on the y's, we're going to subtract these exponents. We want to be very careful that we're subtracting a negative. 2 fifths subtract a negative 3 halves. A common error is students will write 2 fifths minus 3 halves. We need to subtract negative 3 halves because the exponent here is negative. We see when we add the opposite, we actually get 2 fifths plus positive 3 halves, and the common denominator is going to be 10. So we have 4 tenths plus 15 tenths is 19 tenths. So the exponent on y is 19 tenths. And we still have the negative 1 half power outside the parentheses. Now that we've simplified in the parentheses as much as possible, we're ready to look at that exponent outside the parentheses, and I like to do it in two steps when the exponent is negative. First, let's take that negative exponent. Be very careful, a negative exponent will never make a number negative. Instead, a negative exponent flips a fraction over. It moves the 9x to the 7 fifteenths to the numerator. It moves the 25y to the 19 tenths down to the denominator. Still have the 1 half outside. And then, what we can do is take this 1 half and put it on to each factor. When we do, we get 9 to the 1 half power. Recall that that denominator is really the index. The square root of 9 is 3. Over 25 to the 1 half power, the denominator's the index, and the square root of 25 is 5. For the exponents, we're going to multiply the exponents together on x and y. For x, we've got 7 fifteenths times 1 half, and when we multiply the exponents straight across, we get 7 thirtieths for our exponent on x. For the y's, it was 9 tenths. Multiply by the 1 half gives us 19 twentieths for the exponent on y. And now that there's no parentheses, no negative exponents, and each variable appears only once, we have our final answer of 3x to the 7 thirtieths over 5y to the 19 twentieths using the same exponent properties we always have, and a little chicken scratch to keep track of our fractions, common denominators, and reducing, we arrive at our final solution.